Welcome back to Contemporary Black Voices, where our topic today is the Black Wife Effect. So I was sharing with the guys, uh, sorry, I was sharing with the guys earlier that there are some societal norms, especially within the Black community, as to who a Black woman should love. So uh, when she does date somebody outside the race or marries somebody outside the race, all of a sudden she's a bed wench. So I think generationally, we're seeing the younger generation of women, you know, this spelling that, look, I'm going to love who I want to love. Mm -hmm. Maybe, the, you know, in our, in our generation that, you know, we're still, you know, a little shocked by that. Mm -hmm. we're, you know, we're in San Antonio, Texas, where we see black men with non-black women <laughs> all over the place, okay? We do. Mm -hmm. But when we see a black woman, around, you know, with a non-black man, all of a sudden, horror, 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 horror. And she's a bed wench. Mm -hmm. So are we, should we be dictating to black women mm -hmm. today, especially when uh, a lot of black men are, are getting divorced and not remarrying? Who, uh, where should black women find love? I think they find love wherever they can. OK, mm -hmm. even though I was adamantly against it, uh, I'm kind of like Caleb. If a daughter of mine came to me and she had a white man with her, I would never tell her what my inner feelings were. Of course, yes, I would like for her to be with a black man. But if being with this person is going to make her happy, then I support that. So I don't think we ever try to dictate to anyone, whether it be woman or man, uh, who they love and, and, and a situation like that. And that goes for me from even, I've, I've had to come a long way from even a gay person in the family, okay? Mm -hmm. We've all always had them, but now, you know, we almost have to accept that because we all got them in our family. Mm -hmm. So it's really interesting. Now, when, before my father passed, he did tell me, he says, now, Sharon, if if you find a white man that really loves you and you two want to get married, marry him. I don't have a problem with that. But my father was more Renaissancean. He, you know, he saw life a lot differently than a lot of people that I know of living right now. So the permission was given to my father said, look, I know that it's tough. I know that as a black woman, you're having a hard time finding a black man. So if this situation should come up and he makes you happy, say love thee. That's great. I'm, I'm, I'm very happy to hear that he gave you permission, mm -hmm. okay? I mean, most fathers don't give their uh, boys or girls the permission to do that. And a lot of times we live our lives trying to fulfill what our parents would want us to do. And so I, I'm very happy to hear that. So I'm going, I'm getting ready to get dressed up. I'm going to leave the show here in a minute. I'm going to go get really fancied up and I'm going over to the San Antonio Country Club. <laughs> and uh, don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> but the point I'm trying to make is if I were to walk into a premier country club mm -hmm. with a white man on my arms mm -hmm. or I'm on his arms, depending on whose arms I'm on. What do you think would be the perception of the other club members when they see this arrangement? I knew I should have got one. <laughs> <laughs> I think the perception would be that you're worthy to be there because you've passed the test of, 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 of being acceptable by him, his family, his mom, and everybody else. So I think there's a perception that, okay, you know what I'm saying? He, you know, she's should she's worthy to be here, right? That's one. That's one. There may also be the perception that, um, you know, where is this going? Is this a, if you walk in there as his wife, okay, that's different. If you walk in there on his arm and you're his girlfriend or whatever, you know what I mean? So it depends on what your status is, what your situation is at that time. Because it may be, oh, you know what I'm saying? He's just playing around for right now till he marries a white woman, you know what I mean, or whatever. So it just depends on your status at the time. But if you walk in there as a wife, I think the perception is going to be, oh, okay, 
she's acceptable. She's passed the test. Does the age make a difference? I don't think. I don't think in this phenomenon. If a young guy walks in, okay, and the other white guys are looking at him, mm -hmm. and he walks in with Sharon, I think there's one perception. But if it's an older guy that walks in with Sharon, I think there's a different perception. Now, how young are we talking about? Thirties. I think because you know, most of the people at the country club, I would think, are going to be older and established. Mm -hmm. They're going to be in their 50s mm -hmm. and up. Okay, okay? okay. This guy walks in at 30 and he's got to, you know, first of all, they're almost saying, well, like, you know, he's doing his own thing. Right. You know, well, yeah, I mean, but but then again, that's because now you, that's two different phenomena. So now it's, it's not only racism, but ageism you know what i mean so i think that brings in a, a, a different kind of mm -hmm. uh but that's what i'm asking right does, does the age make a difference i don't think in this phenomenon it, okay I don't, I don't think it makes a difference i think basically it's it's about you know like i say the black woman effect uh, on their on their not only on their their swag but economically because they do better financially uh on their health you know, because they live they're, longer. They're getting that season in the food down they're the line. Yeah, they're getting the feed. <laughs> they're getting the food. You know what I mean? So, um, and and again, just and I keep coming back to this because I'm just I'm 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 I have a problem with the statistic that they do better because I'm wondering, okay, so why why are we not doing better? You know what I mean? And so why are we not black men not leveling up? Why are black men not why are the health statistics better when white men marry black women than when black men marry black women? You know what I mean? So we're getting the same food, same type of food for the black women. You know what I'm saying? Getting the same kind of love, encouragement, motivation. So why aren't... And so that's what bothers me is the, the statistic. What's what's missing? There's something missing in this statistic uh, that they are able to benefit from this relationship more than black men are able to do. So do black, one of the one of the things I've read is that a lot of white millionaires mm -hmm. and billionaires who do marry black women, mm -hmm. there's a lot of them out there. Mm -hmm. I was really surprised. Mm -hmm. there, there's a, there's, there, there is a boatload of them that marry black women. Mm -hmm. And one of the common themes that emerged from just reading all that is that they appreciate her loyalty. So are black women being loyal to black men or, or black men perceiving black women as being loyal to them. And what is loyalty? Well, I can't answer that. I don't, yeah, I think, I, I think that, that, that's the question you have to answer. You know, so what is loyalty? Are they being loyal to black men? And what's, what is that? What, you know, I guess what's the perception of loyalty? I mean, I can answer what, what the, what a, a black man perceives loyalty to be, but. What is that? Um, I mean, just, you know, being fully committed into that relationship and knowing that, um, you know, that we're in this together, we're in this for the long haul, we're in this for through thick and thin, ups and downs, you know what I mean? And so uh, under, understanding that uh, this is a forever commitment, that commitment is real. And so I can speak to that from my own relationship. So I've been married for over three decades. And so... Um, one of the things we did early on was take leaving out of the equation. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So no matter what we go through, we go argue, we're going to disagree. We might go to bed mad, we whatever, but leaving is never an option. You know what I mean? Especially once the babies arrive. I think that's a great concept. Once the babies arrive, it, it ain't no leaving. You know what I mean? Ain't no, ain't no. we're going to raise these babies. We're going to say, you're going to say what you got to say. I'm going to say what we got to say, and we're going to work it out. And we got these babies here. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And mm -hmm. so, uh, we just that's one of the things i think we did is early on you that's know what great I mean? and i'm married to a crazy woman anyway she killed me <laughs> you know we're running out of time but i do want to say this the white effect or the the, the white the black wife effect uh -huh. does not always work mm -hmm. and as we talked about off camera george lucas mm -hmm. i don't think ever uh, uh mm -hmm. became that person when he married Melody Opson. Mm -hmm. So I just wanted to, to, oh, to make that He didn't that get swagged? No. I think he did get a little swag, because you know, he's, never he seen was it. a Star Wars geek, 100%, right. but he got a little swag when, <laughs> when Melody stepped in. But I don't think that, um, 
Um, well, Melanie, okay. Right. So, so Melanie... First of all, she dresses, tell them who they are. Both, both, Mel, both. Okay, so Mel, Melanie Hobson was the president of Co -president. Aerial... President of Aerial Capital Management, right? Mm -hmm. So, and she was, you know, she was a big dog. She was worth... Uh, 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 truckloads of money when they when they got together and met. So it wasn't like you know what I mean she was after his money or whatever. Like, no, they were they were equally yoked up. You know what I'm saying? So um, I I think on that I think George did get a little more swag. I think I mean I, I, that sister had him where he didn't even want to make movies no more. He stopped making Star Wars movies. <laughs> <laughs> With that, we are going to go ahead and take a quick break <laughs> and come back and talk about this black wife effect. <laughs> even Prince, even Prince, Prince Harry, stop Prince. Right, right. 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 His sister's giving him to give up a whole titles and everything, kingdoms and titles and castles. <laughs>